Hi everyone, Lisa Myers, the business owner's advocate. And I wanted to just take a moment to um, share with you what I do and, um, and who I am. So again, Lisa Myers, the business owner's advocate, here's my information. This is my why. I think that everybody has, uh, you know, needs to know why they're in business, why they're doing what they're doing. And, and this is my family who I'm very, very proud of. Uh, this is, this was a couple of years ago, and I always say that um, when you're having pictures that are going to last for a very long time, make sure that if you have one of your children or grandchildren that has their fiance, maybe not be in the picture until they're actually married. So that happened with my grandson. Unfortunately, they broke up, but she will forever be in our pictures, um, which makes it sad. Uh, here I am in the middle with my husband, and as you can see, I look a little different. Uh, 2020, I actually released over 75 pounds, and um, I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, it was not easy, but um, I, I've done it. No sugar, no flour, and um, yeah, one day at a time, and I'm 75 pounds lighter as well as got to enjoy uh, life. I got to enjoy hiking this summer and it was just incredible. This is uh, in the middle is my son and uh, his uh, husband and they were married a couple years ago. And so uh, just extremely, he works for Southern New Hampshire University and uh, in New Hampshire and then my daughter and uh, she has four children. Uh, and her husband, and she works for the Air Force in uh, Maryland, and uh, so they do very well there. So both my kids are on the back on the East Coast, and we're here in Utah. And so we got to over the summer, uh, we bought an RV and traveled to uh, first Maryland and then up to New Hampshire and home. It was three weeks and it was amazing to get to spend time with the family. Of course, you know, with 2020 COVID, uh, my husband has suffers with pulmonary fibrosis. And so we, it wasn't safe for him to travel on the airplane. And so um, anyway, so this is my why and uh, just very proud of them. So why work with me? What, you know, why work with Lisa? So first of all, I, I just want you to have to understand a little bit is that I work with the trade industries as well as those that are getting just starting up their business. And the reason why I understand that is that um, I came, I graduated from cosmetology school and out of 90 days out from 90 days from uh, graduating, I, I bought the business and um, how that happened was uh, the gal that owned the salon. And it was just a really small four chair salon uh, was commenting. And this is back with the shampoo set. So this is really dating me. This is almost 30 years ago. Um, and she kept saying how um, this was her retirement salon that, um, you know, that she had just built. And so I'd been there for probably about a month and I asked her, you know, I told her, I says, well, you know, I understand that this is going to be your retirement salon. So when you get ready to retire, I, I would like to look at maybe purchasing it. And she's like, are you serious? And I said, well, in a couple of years, I might be in a position that I could do that. Well, 30 days later, she comes back and she says her husband has um, his job has been transferred and they're moving out of state. And so all of a sudden, I mean, my husband hadn't even seen the salon yet. And now I am purchasing a salon. And the one thing he said was, we, we, got a, we got a loan on our mortgage. He says, we better not lose this house. And so what happened was all of a sudden I've got the salon. I am completely overwhelmed. I'm lost. You know, when I was in uh, cosmetology school, they didn't teach us about running a business. They taught us the trade that they were training us for so we could pass our license and go to work. But they really didn't teach us much about business. And so all of a sudden I'm overwhelmed. I'm not, I don't, you know, I didn't know how to negotiate. Um, I did not, you know, I didn't understand the lease. Um, really didn't understand what business was all about. And I was afraid of failure and disappointing everyone. And what my husband said, you know, I better not lose the house over this. 
And so I really didn't know what I didn't know. And so through very, a lot of costly, costly mistakes and going to business classes and enrolling in different classes in the college and uh, coaches, some good, some not so good, uh, some bad lawyers and, um, you know, all the gamut and that. Um, I found a way to really stay in business and learn how to run a, a successful business. So anyway, um, you know, things just started to change when I, find, you know, and one of the things I love is that I had a determination to succeed. I stuck it out. Most businesses close their doors within five years. And, you know, there've been, there was many times I'd be driving and I think, okay, you know, I've got to have, I've got to pay this bill. And I've got to pay this bill. And maybe I should just go get another, go get a job. And then I would think about it. It's like, okay, Lisa, if you went out, first of all, you'd have to go through the uh, application, the interviews, and then it would take two or three weeks before, you know, maybe you even got a paycheck where I, if I go and find me some more clients, I could be paid that day. I could be making money that day. And so I, I would just, you know, just kind of keep pull, pushing ahead and making, you know, and just that determination to succeed. And so I don't want you to make those same costly mistakes. I love helping businesses and business owners. And so let me help, right? And so I have a free strategy session that I offer and you can call today, we can get you set up. And you know, there's no obligation. If you think, hey, you know, uh, some of the ideas I have might can help, I'd love to work with you. But truly, you know, one of the things that, you know, you see a lot of people say, you know, hey, yeah, I'm going to do this um, strategy and then they're just going to really bombard me and try to push me to do something. I'm not like that. I'm here to help and I want you to succeed, whatever that looks like. So here's a few things of what other people have said working with me that I'm professional and I do I have a lot of different talents I I used to say that you know I was a you know I could master most things but I may not be an expert at everything and so that's why I work with a lot of strategic partners to also help you and they are vetted you know I talk with them I make sure that they're also that they're passionate about helping business owners as well so Linda just said that every time she got to work with me I recognized how you know I'm detail oriented and um, I love results um, I give 100% to my commitment and produce excellent results and I'll do that for you as well and then I do I have a natural ability to reframe your perspective on situations and see what how, what blocks you and that and I'll tell you that I will do everything I can to make sure that you are successful and um, I'm always a, I'm available so what's next so you can either go from pain or we can go from gain so again like I said most trade schools teach you the basics to prepare you to pass the licensing boards and or maybe even a you know entry level job uh, they get and you know and that's there that's what they're there for is to help you to get those first steps but to be a business owner and then also be in trades, there's an amazing book called The E-Myth. And um, one thing I love is about it, it says that when you're an entrepreneur and you have a business, now not only are you the owner, you're the manager, and most often you're the technician, and they are naturally at odds with each other. And so you always hear that, you know, hey, you need to work in your business and then you need to work on your business. And you also have to have family and you want life and work balance. And, you know, sometimes it's a lot of pain on that. So what's next? So if you are one who wants to own your own business, then you're the person that I really want to talk to. And here's some different programs that I do offer. I have a VIP strategic package a foundation package, a virtual coaching accountability package, a strategic planning, again, personalized package as well. And, you know, a lot of times just having that strategic, you know, one hour uh, to talk with you and just see if it's something and that we click together. And why, you know, build that strong foundation. We will look at where you are today and where you want to be. 
We will look at what your current struggles are and what's going on, what blocks you have. And we will look at your a business plan or idea and to see if you have a business plan or just the, if it's just an idea. And then we'll look at the steps needed to move you forward. And so again, you have nothing to lose. You have everything to, to gain and give me a call. I'd love to have that strategy session with you. And here is my phone number and information. So you have an incredible day and I hope to talk with you soon.